Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is John Hammond. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Still showing off the Junior CTF, which was going on this past weekend. Um, and uh, this, in this video, I want to show off that Six Strange Tales web challenge. So it was worth 500 points initially, and all of them keep fluctuating because of how they're keeping track of the scores. Um, but the Six Strange Tales, um, a lot of the CTF is based off of the Gravity Falls show, as I think just a pun or a joke for that. I don't know, that's just what they tried to theme the CTF off of. Uh, so regardless, I'm showing it off. The challenge prompt here is no real prompt, just some weird cryptic messages. But it says, Grunkle Stan, what's the secret of the six-fingered hand? Um, which I guess is the Grunkle Stan character, he has six fingers. Uh, can you see these codes when the six-fingered hand touches them when the gravity falls gets opens? How should we read the secret? Left to right, right to left, maybe upside down, blah, blah, blah. Um, so this is... <laughs> what we are presented, and it's not an image, or at least we can't click on it or, like, view or anything. Uh, can I view image? Okay, cool, I can view image. Sweet. Um, oh, god, I closed the page. My bad. Little control W. Doing a little preemptive stuff with the control W. Let's get back to it. Access token. Alright, now we're back in action. Sorry about that hiccup. Didn't mean to hit control W there. Uh, I thought it created a new tab for me. So, this is it. And how do we read this from left to right or right to left? This all looks like like a bunch of text that it doesn't look like a cipher. It doesn't look like any base 64 things or anything. And it's kind of hard for us to copy and paste it anyway because it's an image. Um, however, this is, again, a web challenge. So, I wanted to view the source of this web page. And challenge prompts flag here, which is apparently some red herring, which pissed me off, because I, like, submitted this, I submitted it with quotes, I submitted it as flag equals and all this, and that, again, was not the flag. You could keep submitting this, like, until the cows come home, but it, did, it didn't do anything. Um, and we all yelled at it on the Telegram, like, the RC channel that they set up for it, and it just was bad. Okay. I see this JavaScript here, though, and this JavaScript is what piques your interest, because this image that they take the source of is the image that is displayed, right? That's that's that. Now oh, I can actually control you. So it draws this and loads it, and I noticed this test here, if my user agent is Gravity Falls, and I tried to set this up, I tried to just copy that user agent, and then I opened up Tamper Data to try and view this page again. So I would start the Tamper, uh, get my thing here, and I'd go and change my user agent to Gravity Falls. Hit OK. Uh... I do it for all the other following ones just to like I say because I just wanted to make sure that it would actually go through, even with like Google's weird things. So I tamper through all of those Google fonts and stuff that they needed to grab. But there's no change in the image when I thought there should have been, considering it's supposed to replace what I'm assuming is the color to like one five. Like it's replacing all these zeros with a one point five jazz. So Regardless, that, did, that didn't really work for me. So what I ended up doing was I actually just copied this script and recreated it. Actually, yeah, I'll take the whole canvas because that's really what we need here. And I'll fire up Sublime Text, bring this down. And what I did is I had created a... Was it Juniors? Yeah. Recreation.html. And... Firefox. Recreation. Once we viewed this, I pretty much got the image again, so I recreated it okay. Now, I can actually remove that JavaScript line to test if my user agent is Gravity Falls. Refresh the page now. Okay, so now it does it. So I just kind of forced JavaScript, hey, completely regard that conditional. For some reason it wasn't working when I tried to change the user agent, so whatever, let's just skip it. Um, I'll bring this down exact, sorry. Now... I have these strings here, and I have six strings, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm assuming, I'm assuming this is our flag, really, really hoping. So, uh, what I did is I concatenated them, I tried them with spaces, I tried them without spaces, um, I thought it was a joke in that, how should we read these, from left to right or right to left? I tried all six of them from right to left, I tried all the characters reversed, reversed from right to left, and then I tried it upside down, you know, like maybe reading vertically, this thing starting first, and this, and this, and then this, and flipping that, like, in reverse, and again with reverse characters, and all of that stuff. The fault that I had was, because this was an image, <laughs> when I'm hand typing them all out, I literally just tried to translate it, um, 
I'll showcase what what I have here. Uh, what's it called? It was called uh, Six Fingered Hands, right? Yeah. I had these pieces, but my O was a zero. Because I had to type it by hand, I had the wrong, <laughs> like, hand, like, translation, which was stupid and dumb. And I was really, really pissed off that it took literally forever for me to get that. <laughs> but that was the problem. All you had to do was remove the spaces, and it's in, it's in the correct order already, but because you had to, like, hand copy it, you couldn't type this out. Unless, I mean, you could try and do this with Tesseract to automate it. Again, it would have issues, and there's already so much other shit that's visible here because of all these other, like, grayed out things. It was just really hard and dumb. And obviously, I'm still salty about it. <laughs> but that ended up being the flag. You would submit that, and 500, 400 points, whatever the case may be. Um... However, it was very cryptic and, uh, you know, a little bit of a, a strange challenge from the six strange tales. So that's it, though. I wanted to show it off to you guys. That was the solution. Um, what I did was just taking out that conditional in JavaScript, getting it to actually highlight these things for me, and then uh, making sure I had the correct zeros and O's and all the numbers, the actual translation correct, and removing the spaces, and they're concatenated. And that is our flag. Again, no flag format, so... You know. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, I'll be showing off some of the other challenges as we, as we move along here. The Lost Code. So, cool. See you in the next video.